Hello friends, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials and today we're going to look at getting the pixel look along with good sound quality on the Redmi Note 4. Here we go. So to begin with, uh, there are a few things that you're going to need before we go ahead and follow this and that's going to be you need to have you know an unlocked bootloader of course so that you can install twrp exposed framework should be installed and working and the google assistant module in exposed should be enabled already now if you don't know how to do that i have made a few tutorials if you look at the screen now this particular video covers how to unlock the bootloader on your redmi note 4 it also takes care of a few errors that you might run into so go ahead and watch that video and if you like it, hit the like button and also remember to subscribe. Next up, if you want to know how to install TWRP and Exposed and get Google Assistant working, this is the video you should be looking at. Again, like, share and subscribe if that video helps you. Now once you've got uh, everything done, before we begin making changes to your phone further, what I would highly recommend is go to TWRP, hit the backup button select all the partitions and please create an android backup so in case anything goes wrong while you know installing mods and stuff you can simply go ahead and hit restore and you will not lose any data to begin with uh, download the file from the description extract it to a folder or a desktop now there's two files in there one is a zip for your sound mod and one is a backup file for Nova settings. Just go ahead and copy them to the internal memory on your phone. And then as you can see on the screen, go to settings, go to system updates. Press the menu button at the top right hand corner and select reboot to recovery and hit reboot now. Once you are in TWRP, just go ahead and install the Viper for a Rise sound mod. Once that is done, you can simply boot into system. Now when you install and open Viper for a Rise for the first time, it will ask you to install the driver. So just go ahead and hit OK and install the driver and reboot your phone once again. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to go to the Play Store. Download the Pixel Icon Pack as you can see on the screen. And then you need to download Nova Launcher. Both of these are installed. Just go ahead and hit the home button and you will get a prompt at the bottom of the screen asking you which launcher you want to use. So just put a check mark, remember my selection or remember my choice and then go ahead and select Nova Launcher. And on the first screen, it will ask you if you want to select a backup. So just click on browse and select a custom file browser like ES File Explorer and select the backup file, the Nova backup file from there and hit OK. Give it a few seconds and you will see that Nova launcher now looks completely like a pixel launcher. Now the last step that we need to do is we need to make sure that the other elements of your user interface look like Google Pixel. To do that, just go to settings and click on themes and go to the theme store and from there search for pixel and download and install the pixel theme once the pixel theme is downloaded and installed just hit apply and reboot the phone once you will see that the boot animation now looks exactly the same like google pixel so here we go we have google pixel boot animation a launcher that looks like google pixel we have the google assistant working and we have Viper for a Rise working, so that gives you amazing sound quality as well. Just go ahead and find the sweet spot of settings in your Viper for a Rise application. 
I really hope this particular guide helped you and if you really like this video, like, share and subscribe. Goodbye.